Alright, I had this already all fixed up and everything, but, uh, of course it would, you know, get all screwed up. Recording died on me. So we're gonna try this again. Alright. With the Denmark one... You want to get the RAR file. The zip files don't work. Well, they work, but you have to do something specific to make them work. So, you want to get the .RAR if you don't want a big hassle. And you want to extract to, and I already have it extracted. I usually put them in a big folder that's Shimeji. I have a bunch there. You couldn't tell. So, extract it, and, you know, put it on your desktop wherever you're putting it. And o to open RAR files, you need WinRAR or something that can open them. Your normal computer usually doesn't come with something that can open it. So, after you've extracted it, you can delete the other file. Double click, and it opens. <coughs> this stuff down here. Shut up. Okay, nice to um, this is to add another one. Another one will fall from the sky. They'll multiply on their own too. This, they'll run to see you. That one just spawned, so it's really not gonna do much. This is to make it so there's only one. This is so, sometimes they like to drag things away and kick them off screen. They'll grab this by the corner and throw it off screen. So, in order to get it back, you have to click that. And this exits the whole program. As far as... Some of them are concerned if you get it in a zip file. You have to go through this whole big annoying thing. Extract all files. And you don't have to rename it, I have to though. Because I already have the file on my desktop. In order to make one of the ones that comes with a zip file work, oh, where'd it go? Watch. This isn't going to work. This is going to pop up. Even if you click run, nothing's going to happen. No matter how much time you spend waiting. So, you're going to want to take a working one like the Denmark. Copy all this information. And put it in a new fol folder. I've already got it fixed up. So, when you've got it in a new folder, I'm just gonna name it new folder. Paste that all in there. Then what you want to do is go to the Norway file or whatever one's not working. Copy all of this information and. To replace all of the extra ones, all of these. Once all that's all done, you can go back and open your Shimeji. It'll take a couple seconds, but it works. See? There you go. That's how it's done. Hope I helped some people who couldn't figure it out. 